I'm very nervous about it, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go to home bargains. Her little body's still shaking, I think, where she's coming around from the anaesthetic. She looks like an actual human baby in her pajamas. She makes me want to buy a drone and a boyfriend. This next thing is probably the thing I've been most excited about. Excuse me? Hello everyone. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I hope you've all had a lovely week. Feels very strange right now because it's actually Sunday evening as I'm starting this vlog. Tomorrow is the 1st of March and Sunny is going in for her very first little operation. I'm very nervous about it. I thought I would start the vlog now because I know tomorrow morning I've got to be at the vets with her by half past nine and I'm going to want to make sure I spend all morning with her, cuddling her. Obviously she doesn't know what's going on but I do and I'm going to be very nervous about it in the morning I can already tell because my nerves are getting bad tonight so I thought I'd start the vlog now while I can actually form a sentence so the operation Sunny's going in for is her spay if you haven't got a dog it basically means they're going to take her womb and her ovaries out I believe anyway <laughs> I haven't wanted to do too much research into a spay to be honest I'll probably watch some videos of a spay after she's had it done but for right now I think ignorance is bliss a little bit I'm okay for now without watching what is going to be done to her she is like my baby. And I know a lot of people won't agree with me having Sunny spayed. A lot of people believe that you should let a dog have a litter of puppies. However, that is never something I've been interested in. I would hate to see her in pain having her babies. I would really struggle to get rid of the puppies. And also my dad is allergic to dogs. So he's fine with Sunny. She is hypoallergenic. But she's only one dog, you know? I feel like if she had a litter of about seven puppies and we suddenly had eight dogs in the house, my dad would be struggling to breathe. So I am going to have her spayed, which means she won't have any more seasons. She's had one season. She's currently, she's almost 10 months old. So yeah, she's had her first season and she was really, poorly with it especially in the beginning this is a bit tmi but she was sick every day she had diarrhea all night long for a couple of nights i honestly felt so bad for her so that is why i've decided to have sunny spayed i was advised by quite a few people including my trainer to have the operation done three months after her last season had finished because that is when her hormone levels are at their lowest it kind of like goes in a cycle so every six months a dog has a season which is basically a period and during that time their hormones are obviously sky high but three months after is like the middle of the cycle when the hormones are at their lowest. And when you spay a dog, you essentially lock them in to that phase of life, is what I've been told. Mentally, not physically. Definitely going to have to keep myself busy tomorrow. But yeah, that is the start of my week this week. Happy March. I've got her these little pyjamas for after her op. They're really soft. They're a really nice material. They've got poppers all down the back, so they're really easy to put them on. Um, but it just means that she won't be able to get to the wound. The sizing is so weird though. Sunny's a large in these. <laughs> she is a small dog. So if you're in a similar situation, make sure you measure your dog before you order them. Say hello everybody. Today's my big day. <laughs> I don't know what mum's on about. <laughs> it is the 1st of March. It's Monday morning. Wake you up early this morning, didn't I? Half past seven. <laughs> Blimey, she was not happy about it. Get all your whizzies out because you're not going to be playing for a few days, my love. I woke up at three o'clock in the morning. Um worrying until five o'clock in the morning but i feel all right now so yeah, i'll be okay okay so we've dropped sunny off she was okay she always shakes when she goes into the vets because she doesn't like being away from me but all the vets are really lovely um so she's in there now we've just popped to b m bargains and home bargains because we thought we haven't got a puppy we might as well make the most of it and get some food and things like that like little bits because we haven't got another asda delivery quite a while so we popped in to get some bits um, I just think it's so funny we choose home bargains when we've got freedom I know yeah. and low expectations <laughs> we're like oh we haven't got a puppy let's let's go wild let's go to home bargains and we've now just come through the McDonald's drive through as well to get breakfast because neither of us could eat before we took her we we're both a bit nervous this morning um but we've got our breakfasts now. We both feel fired. Do you feel all right now? I feel all right now. I didn't sob in front of the vet, so I'm very proud no, of her. No, yeah, mum didn't cry. She did cry <laughs> beforehand and after, but not, at, <laughs> not actually to the vet. Um, anyway, we've got our breakfasts. I've got pancakes, pancakes and syrup, and mum's got sausage and egg McMuffin. I've got to say, I'm glad I went with the sausage and egg McMuffin. Why? This looks a bit boring. Yeah, but I haven't put the syrup on it yet. <laughs> We've got two cappuccinos as well. You've never tried that before. Take your first bite. Mm. I want to hear what you think. Mm, that's nice. It's nice, isn't mm. it? 
Really long. I wish I got that out. <laughs> Look who's just got home. It's kind of sad, guys. I'm not going to lie. The vet said she was really good and she's a really lovely little dog. I picked her up at four o'clock. It's now five o'clock. And her little body's still shaking, I think, where she's coming around from the anaesthetic. I don't know. I don't know anything about surgeries. And we've got to go back in a few days to check she's healing all right. The shaking's not so bad now. It is getting better. Hello. Sunny is just out in the garden with my mum, so I thought I'd update you. It's now Wednesday. I've gotten up this morning. I've just done my makeup and I'm having a nice coffee. It looks, <laughs> it looks disgusting now. It's been sat there for quite a while while I got ready, so all the foam has like gone weird. But it is delicious. I mentioned these glasses in my last vlog and someone said that they break really easily. So I'm just going to be extra careful with it and keep my fingers crossed but yeah like i said today is wednesday sunny is doing really well after her surgery yesterday i didn't pick up the camera at all because i kid you not i was sat on the sofa with the dog on my lap for probably 97 percent of the day i went downstairs at seven o'clock in the morning went to bed at 11 o'clock and all the time in between minus half an hour to make a ham and cheese toasty for lunch was spent on the sofa cuddling her because she did not want to leave my side every time i stood up she came with me every time i moved on the sofa she moved too i think she was just feeling very insecure yesterday because obviously she was scared from monday and then yesterday she did actually eat which i was very surprised about she's obviously still in recovery it's not gonna be a miracle she's still got an open wound not open wound you know what i mean like a fresh wound and i think it takes about 21 days to be considered like fully back to normal but anyway i'm back with the vlog today very excited about it i'm excited to think about life again because literally all i did yesterday was watch the end of the cecil hotel series on netflix i really enjoyed it it was a little bit long-winded though and then i started what did i start chernobyl or chernobyl or chernobyl i have no idea how to pronounce it i say chernobyl but I think it's actually Chernobyl. Started that series, really enjoying it. I've got three episodes left, so I'll probably finish that today. And I also started Unforgotten, but I didn't really get into it by that point because I'd been sat on the sofa for like six or seven hours and I was just kind of over it. But yeah, I'll give you an update. I've just been watching Maddie Bruce's new vlog while I was getting ready. I love Maddie's vlogs. She's like me, but better. <laughs> like me but with more of a life so if you've not watched her go and check her out she's fab here she is she's so much better today than yesterday this is the first time she's actually shown any interest in her toys at all obviously i'm not going to throw her toys for her because she's not allowed to run around but she can play by herself with a few of them i reckon she'll play for half an hour max and then she'll sleep for an hour and a half she looks like an actual human baby in her pajamas <laughs> oh it's Sophie the giraffe, an actual human baby toy as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've escaped the puppy bubble for five minutes. My mum is watching Sunny. I feel like I can't take my eyes off her. I've definitely done too much Googling. If they run, if they stretch, if they jump after surgeries like this, the wound can open and their organs can fall out of them. What? So yeah, a little bit paranoid, but I thought I would come and show you what I bought in Home Bargains and B&M the other day, because who don't love a Home Bargains haul? I was actually gonna make this into a separate video, but my Home Bargains and my B&M, well I say mine, my local ones, they're not that great. I've seen B&Ms that literally are double layered, like a double decker bus vibe. There's an escalator up the middle. Mine is not like that. My local ones are at South End Airport, so that's where I went and they're okay. They're all right. But I'd say it's more like food and snacks rather than homeware bits. I'm gonna start with home bargains because I got the least in there. So the first thing <laughs> is a half eaten packet of croissants. I've had two of these already, they're delicious. Right, then actual things. So I found this from West Lab. This is the company that I usually buy Epsom salts from for my bath, but I thought this looked really good. So this is their salt scrub and I thought it'd be really good for getting tan off. It smells so good and look at that. I feel like it's gonna be a really good scrub. I like a scrub that is literally like sandpaper for my body. 
messy. Because when I scrub, it's when I'm taking tan off. I want to literally shed my skin like a snake. So hopefully it's gonna do the job. Got a lint roller. I picked up a couple of candles. Not that I need any more candles. I actually prefer wax melts these days. I feel like they're better value for money. You don't get bored of them. You can switch them out easily. But these candles were so cheap that I couldn't resist. I think these were 4 dollars And they're like Yankee Candle dupes. So this one is in the scent Pink Rhubarb and Pear. I love this. It smells so strong of rhubarb. And rhubarb is one of my favourite flavours. It's one of my favourite sweets. One of my favourite scents. And the other candle I got is a bit rogue for me. So this... It's the same company, Wickford & Co, but this one is white chocolate. I'm not really a chocolate scented kind of person. I've got another water bottle. I don't know why, I just seem to have an obsession with water bottles. Literally when I move out, I'm gonna have to have a cupboard dedicated to water bottles. I don't even really use them that much. The first step is admitting you've got a problem and I know I've got a problem with buying water bottles. So I've got another one. <laughs> don't really love it that much, but I did like the, um, time thing down the other side so like you refill this twice and that's how much you should drink in a day got 8 a.m 9 a.m 10 a.m 11 a.m 12 p.m i thought this would be really good when the weather gets better because i'm rubbish at drinking enough so bad at it and i thought even if i fill this up and then pour it into a glass to drink from because i prefer drinking out of a glass why do i have an obsession with water bottles i can't remember how much this was i don't know where the receipt is but it was home bargain so it's not going to be like taking out a mortgage worthy oh how handy i've just found the receipt wow those candles were only 2.99 what a bargain! the water bottle was £2.49 i've got some chocolate bars because they were three for a pound so these are milka ones i've got two strawberry and this one from mum which is peanut caramel then i've got some party decorations um not that i'm going to be having any gatherings anytime soon but it's sunny's birthday on the 3rd of may which I know is like two months away. But I don't know how often I'm going to be going into home bargains. And I want to decorate for her birthday. I'm going to celebrate the dog's first birthday. Um, is that sad? Yes, it is. But I thought I'd pick up these bugs while I found them. The first thing are these little white pom-poms. How cute are they? I think they're actually going to be quite big. And they were 79p. And the other thing I've got, these were 99p. Is this make your own tassel garland. I mean, how cute are the colours? And the last thing I got from home bargains bargains is a body lotion so this is from palmer's it's the natural bronze body lotion it's a gradual tanning moisturizer and i love a tanning moisturizer in the spring in the summer obviously i fake tan once a week i would say but when i want to keep up with my tan in the summer i always use some kind of body moisturizer tanning thingy my bobby you know so that's home bargains now we're going to move on to b&m this is definitely more like homeware kind of things although saying that i've got these have you ever seen strawberry and mint after eights i haven't they're not like my favorite i'm not really rushing back to b&m just for these but if i was in there again i'd probably pick them up again <laughs> next up we've got a little cleaning section because even though i live at home obviously i'm 22 i contribute towards the house and if there's like particular cleaning products that i want to try i'm not going to expect my mum to buy them so the first thing i wanted to try is from fabulosa i've seen so many people raving about these products i don't know why it's taken me so long to try something but i got this basically carpet fresh it was a foam freshener for carpets, no need to vacuum. It's in the scent Electrify. I didn't actually smell it in the shop, I just like the colours. <laughs> oh, it smells alright, nothing to write home about, but it's okay. I'll still use it, I'll get through it pretty quick. I love a good old carpet fresh. Next thing I got is a Big Zaflora. This one, Warm Cinnamon. Never seen this anywhere else. Oh my god, I should have bought it near Christmas. But in all fairness, now is probably a good time because the weather's changed again and it's really miserable again. So before the spring arrives, we've got a nice little warm scent. Picked up another one of these when you've got a puppy. These are essential. Even if you've got a dog, like I think this is a pretty essential thing. Sunny never has accidents in the house now, like ever. But sometimes she is sick, so this is super handy for when she's sick. I've gotten through quite a few of these bottles since she came home, bless her. Next thing I've got are some air fresheners for the bathroom and the toilet normally this is the kind of thing that my mum would buy but we've already got an air freshener i just saw on instagram that these last for a really long time so i was like i'm not gonna make you pay bridge we don't need them i just want them it's got a scratch and sniff oh that smells lovely i've been waiting for this one. Oh, oh my god i forgot i got this got pasta <laughs> 50p roast chicken and bacon i've never tried this one then i've got this for an upcoming video so i'm gonna do a video where i test like different dog products that i've seen on tiktok and one of them is this poor wash cup thing. These are really expensive on Amazon and it was two pounds in B&M. So 
Had to get that while I saw it. Got another shower gel. These are some of my fave from Dove. Got a new tanning mitt. I always pick one of these up when I see them because they're my favourite tanning mitts. Got a pack of six tiny tennis balls. This next thing is probably the thing I've been most excited about. Apple Jammy Dodgers. What now? Excuse me? Then I've got a bubble bath because I thought this scent sounded so lovely. I feel like it looks quite luxury as well. Moroccan Sunset. A golden argan oil. It does smell luxury. It smells expensive. It wasn't. Oh, I've just found the receipt right at the end. I've got one more thing to show you. But the last thing I got was £2.49. And it's this little vacuum storage box. Um, you guessed it, for the dog, for Sunny's treats. I get these little sausages for her and they dry out really quick. So I wanted some kind of vacuum storage. It's a nice size and how cute is the colour of the lid. I was very impressed. It goes on like this. And then you flip that down and that air is not coming out anytime soon. Hope you enjoyed my cheap haul. I do actually want to try out cherries soon. Let me know if you want like a cherries haul. I've seen a lot of influencers working with them actually. But I had a look on their app and they seem super super cheap they're basically like an online version of B&M or home bargains so yeah let me know if you want me to try it out anyway I'm off to put the sausages in the airtight container blimey I can see why you're so invested in these vlogs the rhubarb candle is lit I am now watching Lucy Flight's new vlog 54 minutes long as well go on Lucy what are you doing with your weeks <laughs> I do not have enough for 54 minutes but I'm now going to redo the nails because guys I I have loved these Valentine's nails so much. I honestly think they're some of my favourite nails ever, but as you can see, they've grown out so much. I did do them on um, the Monday before Valentine's Day, so that's pretty good going, I think. I get a lot of questions about my nail varnish because it doesn't chip, it just grows out. So, I've mentioned this before, but I'll say it quickly again. I use the Blue Sky Nail Polish, I use the base coat the colour and the top coat. Usually do two or three coats of the colour depending on the actual like depth of it. I use this set from Amazon to remove and prep and wipe because it's like sticky after you paint them so then you have to wipe them down with this. And the gel nail lamp that I use is this Sun UV one. Um, these are both from Amazon and these are from Blue Sky so I'll link them all in the description down below. This also came with these Miley lint free wipes so that is pretty much what I use. Obviously I file my nails down and cut them and sort out my cuticles and everything as well but for the actual gel polish that's it. Simple as. So I'm going to sit and do this now, take these ones off and I've gone for this colour, Vintage Beige. I'll link this specific colour in the description down below. Looks really pretty, I haven't used it before so let's get painting. Meet me here at this time tomorrow there's something you need to know I got used to see you as a friend But deep inside there's something else Shall we do Sunny's medicine? Just a spoonful of chicken, chicken and some medicine, medicine. Go down! say good morning everyone here i am in my pjs today is thursday i haven't got much on the agenda today still making sure this one is all right it's actually getting more difficult now because she feels a lot better but she still hasn't healed so she's not allowed to run and jump and stuff like that you try telling the 10 month old puppy that <laughs> we're playing with the toys but we're not throwing them are we we're just chewing we have got an appointment with the vet this evening just so they can check over her wound to make sure it's healing all right but i haven't got much else planned for today oh by the way my camera battery died last night so this is how my nails turned out let me show you here they are i really like this color actually i think it's really cute very simple very neutral it's not white but it's like it's a nice color <laughs> oh, she just licked my mouth. <laughs> Give me some chin kisses. Oh, no jumping. See what I mean? It's a nightmare. I have been taking pictures of the wound just to kind of like keep track of the progress. And it does look like it's getting better. It was quite red yesterday, but yesterday evening, it looked a lot better, didn't it? I've just been catching up on Lucy Flight's weekly vlogs still. Because I watched it last night and I realised I'd missed some and I was like, what? <laughs> 
I really, really like them. She makes me want to buy a drone and a boyfriend. <laughs> I've got this little top on today and I'm very undecided whether I like it or not. It was from Motel Rocks. Um, I've seen lots of people wearing this kind of style. I would wear it probably with blue baggy jeans, I think. I don't know. But I'm not 100%. It's quite different for me. It was quite expensive as well. It was like £35. But I'm going to try and make it work. Look at her little face. She looks so cavalier from the side. I feel like from the front she looks more toy poodle. But from the side she's defo a cavalier. And guess what, guys? Sunny's mum is actually having a second litter. She wasn't going to because she's a family pet. They just wanted to breed her once and let her have one litter. But the lovely lady we got Sunny from, we obviously went to her house last year when lockdown restrictions weren't as tight. We met her, we met her family. She's got kids and it's her little family dog. She's such a lovely dog. And she said the puppies were so easy to raise. Her dog took so well to being a mum and all the puppies have turned out to be really lovely natured. So she has decided to breed her one more time. And two of the other owners of Sunny's litter are having puppies from this second litter. And do you know the temptation <laughs> but it's not the right time to get another puppy i never considered getting another one and then the other puppy owners were like yeah we're gonna get a friend for ours and i was like how cute would that be to have a half sibling but it's not the right time i don't actually think sunny would like to have a friend just yet i've always said when she gets older then i'll probably get another puppy but for right now <laughs> one puppy is more than enough can you hear her barking fee fi fi fum i smell the barks of a puppy <laughs> Excuse the towel and the Crocs. What is it? Welcome back to Han's Kitchen of Dreams. This week's bake is gonna be a little carrot cake and I've even got the little tiny carrots to go on the top of it. These remind me of being a kid so much because our local bakery used to do the best carrot cake. We used to go there after school and get either like an iced bun or you know those buns that are split and they've got like whipped cream kind of thing and jam in the middle. Oh my goodness, they were delish. But carrot cake was always my first option. I haven't had it for maybe even years, you know. So I'm gonna make some today. <laughs> the little carrots are giving me life, they're so cute. Obviously, this is another recipe from the Jane Patisserie website. I'll leave it linked in the description down below. I think it's gonna be a really quick and easy one. I've just got all the ingredients out, so. Let's get baking. I'm actually really enjoying baking now, you know, guys. I don't want to speak too soon, but my last few bakes have been really good. I feel like I'm definitely getting better at it. I used to be an absolute fail of a baker. If anyone's been watching my videos for like years, one, God bless you for sticking around, but two, I'm sure you'll remember how awful my baking used to be. Good God, who would want to eat that? It was all going too well, really, wasn't it? But now that I've found this website with these recipes, I feel like I'm actually getting a lot better at it. I think it's been really good for my brain in lockdown as well to have something else to focus on for like an hour. So yeah, I'm gonna shut up and get on with my cake. Ooh, this road that I am on, I gotta stay here for some time. So I got my cake out of the oven and literally got it out just in time then had a brief interlude because like I mentioned we had a quick post-op checkup at the vets this evening. So we just got back from that. The vet said her wound is healing really nicely. There's no openings. I thought well, that makes me feel ill. Um, no bruising, nothing to worry about. Everything we're doing is absolutely fine. So yeah, we've got to go back again in another week. But that's going to be my last surgery update for now. If you're maybe about to go through the same thing with your puppy and you do want to know more information, either message me on Instagram or on Sunny's Instagram, which is sunny.thecavapoo. I've made a little highlight all about her space. So like every day of recovery, I'm doing updates on there. So that might be helpful for you. Can you move the boiler? Do you mind? So I'm now back and I'm about to finish off the cake and make the... Um, cream cheese frosting and put the little carrots on top. Time has gone and I grew up I somehow made it through without losing sight mm. And I still wonder where you are I've finished guys, so here is what it looks like on the website and here is mine! I think it looks so cute, I love the little carrots I have got so many walnuts on here because we all love walnuts in this household 
um, and one of the options is to put raisins in it but I didn't do that I just put walnuts in it so walnuts in it and on it we've got the cream cheese frosting on the top very excited to tuck into this tonight I would eat some right now but it's now six o'clock so I don't want to ruin my bangers and mash that we've got for dinner <laughs> I haven't had bangers and mash for ages I'm over the moon today hello everyone Today is Friday and as you can see I'm looking a little bit more glam than I have for months because today I've actually got my first like out of house job. <laughs> Sunny, shush you. She's obsessed with the lint roller. Um, anyway, today I'm actually travelling to Enfield for work and I've literally not even left my town for months so I'm very nervous about it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not nervous about the actual job, I'm just nervous about the travelling and leaving and seeing people for the first time. Obviously it's all gonna be socially distanced. I'm gonna miss you as well. It's currently three o'clock, I'm not gonna be back till probably like nine or ten. I'm gonna miss her. Charlene, roll you. Oh, is that nice? <laughs> Anyway, I'm all ready. I'm wearing an all black outfit. And then I've got my scarf and my Zara jacket here. I'm gonna wear my Zara boots as well. And I'm ready to go. Not on mum duties this afternoon. I'm not allowed to bring my camera, but I will tell you guys what I'm doing when I'm allowed to say. Um, so I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Today is Saturday. It's about quarter to one. And this morning I finished the second part of the job that I went to yesterday. Both went really well. Um, I'm excited to be able to share with you guys what it's for. I don't know when that will be, but I will keep you updated as soon as I know. But for now, oh, my microwave's beeping. I've just put some leftover Chinese in the microwave for lunch, and I'm far too happy about it. How cute is this cardigan? It was from Primark. My bodysuit is also from Primark. I miss Primark. Like, I miss just going in and getting fluffy socks and four pound slippers. And I wonder what Primark have done with all their stock that was meant to be sold during lockdown. Like when we go back, will it be winter? Will it be spring? Will it be summer vibes? But yeah, I miss Primark, here's my announcement of the day. And my jeans are from weekday. They're mum jeans, here we go, now you can see them. They're like washed black and I've rolled them up at the ends. And this little belt is from ASOS. So that's today's outfit. Should we go and get the Chinese out the microwave? Yeah. One of Sunny's birthday presents just arrived. <laughs> yes, I am already buying because I'm excited about it. Got her a pink gin, haven't I? It says Gruden's on the back. <laughs> this is from Pooch's Toy Boutique. Here she comes. There, oh, there's not actually that much left. I ate quite a lot of it yesterday. Just a little bit of chow mein and Hong Kong sweet and sour chicken. So my lovelies. After my Chinese, I pretty much just sat and edited this vlog for the rest of the day. I promise you guys, next week I'm gonna focus more on the weekly vlog because I'm not gonna lie, I'm not that happy with this one. I feel like Monday and Tuesday were a write off because of Sunny's surgery and then Friday and Saturday, I was doing that thing that I can't talk about yet. So it was a little bit difficult and and I'm not that pleased with it, but I hope you managed to enjoy it somehow. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see my future videos. But for right this second, I'm gonna go and take my makeup off because I feel as tired as I look. I'm gonna run myself a little bubble bath and I hope you all have a really lovely week. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys, love ya.